Dr. Dre often asks, what's the difference between me and you? And today we're going to apply that to XRP and XLM and who has the 10x potential from their recent lows. So if we can take inspiration from the great Dr. Dre, sprinkle a little bit of our own dust on there, we will ask ourselves, what's the difference between XLM and XRP? About five bank accounts, three ounces, and two vehicles until my death. I'm Bangladesh. The charts of XRP and XLM up on the screen. So 10Xing for Stellar would put it at just about a dollar. That would be higher than its previous all-time highs, which I think would be very tough. We also have XRP, 10X from its lowest point of recent would put it at around $3. Now that is lower than it was before the SEC lawsuit was filed. So now let's start talking about some of the similarities, differences, who's got that 10X potential. So let's start off with some high-level tokenomics. XRP will have a circulating supply of 100 billion, while XLM will have a circulating supply of 50 billion. So just from a pure mathematical standpoint, it is a lot easier to push a ball up a hill with 50 billion units than it is 100. Now, when we move on to the next level and start talking about where does the funding come from, both Ripple Labs and Stellar Development Foundation use their respective assets to pay for their business activities. Now, recently we have learned that for every billion XRP that is taken out, about 70% actually gets put back in. So yes, both companies right now do draw on their holdings to pay for their operating expenses. XRP also has a much higher trading volume than XLM. In fact, we just had a recent report that showed that 60% of one exchange's volume in Latin America was just XRP tokens. So from just a pure tokenomic standpoint, there is a much higher demand for XRP, but there will also be a much higher circulating supply when all things are said and done. Both do have amazing partnerships and both do have room to grow. For instance, the Stellar MoneyGram partnership itself was not a big deal in terms of how it was used for XLM, but we have learned because of that partnership, it is spawning more and more growth opportunities for the native token XLM. Now, Ripple Labs, on the other hand, has ODL, which uses XRP like crazy. Huge utility and huge value of the native token there. And if we're thinking 10x potential, we have to think about what can make these things pop. What can make these things move? Ripple shows interest in acquiring Celsius assets. Of the two, Ripple Labs has been public several times saying they look to be the buyer rather than the seller. That poses huge potential for 10x, especially if Ripple Labs can acquire someone like Celsius. Now, Stellar Development Foundation has been much more focused on payment rails and partnerships. Nothing on the big end like this, but a lot more smaller user-friendly projects. So 10x potential here, I would honestly have to say leans to Ripple for future growth. So tokenomics, partnerships, ecosystem, both have their pros and cons, but we also now have to talk about kind of this weird sexy factor, all right? Ladies, you know when you were hanging out with your friend and you were checking out your friend's brother and you were like, yo, Jen, he is hot. And your friend was like, yo, back off, that's my brother. Didn't that make you want him more? Now, fellas, you know you had that friend who had that hot sister, right? And your friend was like, yo, don't even think about it, hands off. Made you want the sister even more, huh? See, XRP has the SEC lawsuit. And I know it's bad because it will be draining over $100 million per Brad Garlinghouse. But the sexiness, right? The you can't have it factor is a massive motivation for a bunch of buyers out there. We also have to keep in mind that it will constantly keep Ripple Labs in the news. And the more positive news that we hear regarding the case will give more positive inkling, more positive motivation towards Ripple Labs and that 10x movement. Now, on the flip side, stuff Stellar Development Foundation does not have a lawsuit like that holding it back from its all-time highs. Stellar Development Foundation does not have the negative association with it as Ripple Labs does, like with the case. But that also means that Stellar Development Foundation doesn't have that sexiness. It doesn't have that je ne sais quoi, right? That thing that makes you want it. How many of you out there, especially in the United States, no, forget it, all over the world, when your government says you can't have this, how bad or how much more do you want it then? 
See, that's the edge that Ripple has here. And again, applying it to this 10X potential, I think that again has to lean with Ripple Labs. And that sexiness factor will also translate into size. Oh, you like what I did there? Ripple Labs opens branch in Toronto. Ripple Labs also has a much larger footprint. Now that also means it has a much larger cost structure. Again, risk versus reward, right? A smaller stellar development foundation versus a larger Ripple Lab. But Ripple Labs also has the potential of going public once the SEC XRP case is over. If that were to happen, you would first have the great news for the SEC XRP case, which would open the floodgates for XRP. And then you would have XRP going even further with the positive news of Ripple Labs going public, which would mean even more funding for expansion. And now as much as it seems like an overwhelming win for Ripple Labs in this category, you have to think about the negative aspects, right? What if the crypto winter goes even further? What if they over spend with Ripple Labs having a much larger footprint. Their margin of error really starts expanding and encompasses a whole bunch of factors. Those were just a couple of the many high level points that I wanted to share with you between XRP and XLM. Now, when I first started this video, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm looking at this completely neutral. As I started going through, as I started recording, as I started researching, I really started leaning more to that XRP has that 10X potential from here than XLM. Honestly, XLM to go 10X from now would have to have some massive partnership come out or they would have to burn a massive amount of the coins to help on that mathematical leverage for the price of the lumens to go up. That being said, 10X for XLM would also mean that would be a new all-time high. Very hard to see a new all-time high in this bearish market. Now, XLM could gain quite a bit of price momentum once the XRP case is done, but we know XRP will benefit higher than would XLM if that were to happen. Now, on the flip side, XRP at 10X, well, that puts it at $3. That is something that could easily happen when the case is done between XRP and SEC. Now, will that happen in 2022? Red Garlinghouse tells us yes, it will, but I don't know. The way the SEC has been dragging, it makes me think 2023. For those of you that are still watching, do me a favor and vote on the poll that I have in the community tab. So XRP or XLM, who has got the better 10x potential from here? Thanks everyone for watching and have a great day. What's the difference between me and you? Me and you? Me and you? Back when Q was rolling.